what is up you guys and welcome back to the channel um today i just want to do a quick little follow-up video to um the last video i made about the uh, um fog light vessels the jdm s4 fog light vessels vessels um i just want to give you a little follow-up on the what fuels you want to tap to get the right function i'm going to explain that real quick right now right all right guys so as you can see uh, they came out freaking awesome the fog light bezels they're super bright even like when the Sun is beaming those things are like you could see them still that they're on like you could tell they're on they're not like the sea light my th this sea light for me it's LED but it's not nearly as bright as this bezel but anyway um, looks freaking awesome so I'm gonna show you what I mean uh, about the connections cuz I can't it was hard for me to find like a, a real answer on how to connect these things let me just pop the hood here all right so right now I have them that the C light it's gonna be like on all the time unless you turn on the car obviously but I think that's the best setting for them anyway they should be on all the time so the connection that everyone that you see what the hell hold on what the hell oh, okay all right so here's the engine bay i hope you guys could hear me so i routed the wire through the driver's side battery here and it come out it comes out through here all right let me shut off the car real quick so you guys could be able to hear me So my LED turn signals are freaking awesome. Um, all right, guys. So most people, what they do, uh, let me open the fuse box here real quick. All right, let's get that out of the way. Most people, where they tap into, what fuse they tap into is either the the high beams or the low beams. I think that's that's right. Let me look at this thing real quick. No, yeah, high or low. So if you tap into this one, it'll be connected with your low beams, which will be the headlights right here. So what's gonna happen is the the bezel, the fog light bezel thing here, the LED bar is not gonna turn on unless you turn on your headlights, you know? And once you turn on your headlights, obviously they'll stay on. If you tap into the 30 amp one, which is the high beams, um, that's gonna activate the high beam right here and for me the high beams they go on when my e-brake goes down when I take off the e-brake these go on and then the the bar will light up okay once you put the e-brake back on obviously they'll go off but the thing that sucked about this it's yeah it goes on when the e-brake goes down yes you're daily driving that's awesome and, and they're on but they go off once you turn on your your low beams with the fogs they go off even the, the low beams without the fog they, they will go off so the solution to this to have them on all the time which they're DRLs anyway they should be on on, the, all, all, on all the time right what I did is with the help of a user on the Facebook group for the 2015 WRX and XCI owners group um, he told me to tap in the ACC uh, fuse or whatever right here doesn't say anything it's blank which is this one right here all right so in order to do that like you can't with this original thing see how it brings two brings two teeth or, or whatever right here it brings two see how this one's bent that's how I got it in here so you want to get it in this one right here Hope the camera could pick that up right there which is 
um, it goes this way, like this, uh, just like this. So you just put it right in there, just like that. And that's for the accessory, I think. ACC, I think it's for accessory. So once again, what do you gotta do when you have this uh, IJDM toy bezel? You just gotta bend this back. It's in their instructions, but I couldn't find them. That user, he found them for me. I'm gonna put his name on the on the screen right here. Follow him on Instagram or whatever. He was very helpful. That gentleman was the one who told me how to do it because I, I was looking all over the Facebook groups online and nobody had a clear explanation on how to wire this to get the, the C light on all the time. You know what I mean? And you know, I'll shut off when the car shuts off because I try to connect it to other lightning uh, lighting fuses and the C light will stay on even if the car shuts down. So that didn't work. Anyway, the solution is this right here. The accessory, uh, I guess, fuses go here, the accessory section. So once again, what you gotta do, it's uh, bend this, I don't know what you call it, a tooth or whatever. Looks like a tooth. Um, you bend this one and you put it this way, just like this. It just slides right in. Because you can't put it this way. You see how they are? They're like, they go that way. So. You can't put it this way. You have to put it this way. So it's gonna go on this corner one here. It's not gonna go on this one or that one. I don't know what the hell those do, but I just connect it here. Just one it has one tool that you just connect it right there, fits right in. And that's it, guys. Your LEDs will go on when um, you know they're all they will always be on, even when. Once the car turns on it turns on and they turn off when the car turns off or whatever and I think that's that's like the best look um, I'm gonna remote start right now, and um you're gonna see See how the LEDs went on, the fog lights and my C lights. So they'll be on like that when you remote start them, even when you put in the key or whatever, they'll stay on. So yeah guys, I just wanted to explain that, do a quick explanation. I know it helps some people out. Oh, and another thing I forgot to tell you guys, let me shut this down. Gotta shut it down. All right, another thing that I wanted to explain, you know how you route it through here? All the way through here and to the negative right here, ground or whatever. So what I've noticed is when you put this cap back on, you see the wire is gonna get crimped. Like it's gonna get crimped with the corner of this. It's gonna get like, and over time it'll break. You see mine is already all screwed up here. So what I suggest to do, which I'm going to do right now, I'm going to do it off camera, obviously, because it's an easy thing to do. Just wrap this wire with electrical tape. So when it gets like, like crimped right here, um, at least the electrical tape will protect it a little. I don't know. That's a little tip for me anyway. That's what I'm going to do to protect this wire because this wire is so thin. It's very flimsy or whatever. But yeah, guys, that's that's it for today. Um, thank you for watching like comment and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one once again uh, This is the name of the person that helped me on the Facebook group go check them out on uh, their Instagram or their Facebook or whatever But he was the person who gave me all this information so I could share with you guys Once again, thank you and have a great day yeah.